right guys, welcome to Motorcycling with Carl, out on a test ride, see how the bike's running with the Vanson Hein FP3 fuel pack and the Screaming Eagle high flow air filter, just in some back roads here, a little cold out today, I think it's March 30th I'm filming this. A little cold, but only a short ride. See how it goes. Seems to be running okay. My bike never likes to run really good on uh, really cold, moist days. Doesn't seem to run as good as it does on hot days. thing I want to talk about is some upcoming uh, vlogs I want to do. I think the next vlog I want to do with you guys is um, it's about a 45 minute to an hour ride through a couple routes leaving from Fairfield, Connecticut. I'll show you all the routes and uh, I'll talk about them, tell you, you know, where to start. It's actually a nice little ride and scenic. As you can tell, I, I don't like doing a lot of roads around busy areas and stuff like that. I'm more of a back road, just kind of having fun riding around, not looking for traffic or anything like that. But it is a little chilly. Fingertips are cold tonight. Bike runs really good. It's been tough lately, you know, basically being cooped up in the house. So, if anything, maybe this video will get you guys getting your bikes out, getting ready to go ride and stuff like that. Or if you don't have a bike, maybe you could just hop on with me here and enjoy the scenery, take it in. You gotta let me know my next vlog um, if you want to hear more talking, more quiet, just enjoy the scenery. You know, leave it in the comments down below. If you like my videos, hit the like button, subscribe. Riding is just awesome. I'll tell you what, I try not to speed. But, uh, seems like this bike loves to run above 35, 40 miles an hour. Just so smooth. You know, slower speeds, you're chugging around a little bit. And, like I said, I love these back roads. Biggest concern for me out here is, uh, here in Connecticut, we have a ton of deer, so you got to keep your eyes open and hope you see them soon enough, but that's the, the scary portion. What do we got here? A giant ice cream cone. Yep, made of balloons. All right. Now we're in Easton, Connecticut. This intersection is tough. You can't even see the cars on the other side. Yeah, if you drive through Eastern Connecticut, make sure you uh, obey the speed limits. They're pretty hardcore. I'm pulling you over for anything. 
but they're doing their job. All I know is I hope it doesn't start raining on me because I'm already cold. Yeah, so that next ride I'm, I'm going to take you on is, uh, I call it my reservoir ride. We'll leave, I'll start the video right around the Merritt Parkway in Fairfield. So it'll be easy for you guys to find if anybody wants to take the ride. And we'll start there, we'll go up, we'll go around some reservoirs, and I'll loop back. And I, basically, I loop around, I'll bring you back to almost the same exact spot or close enough to get you to the Merritt Parkway. Alright, you're staying there, buddy. Good. This is this route I just take, took you on. I started you off about 10 or 15 minutes from my house. Um, it's just a quick, I need to get out, take a ride loop. I'm uh, heading home to beat the rain. We got Snow's Farm over there. All right, now we're coming up to uh, Silverman's Farm. All right, when all of this virus stuff blows over and everybody could go back out, really nice little farm here, apples, all of that. They have some animals. Take your kids over here, take them to the farm. This is the little kind of towny east end place here. Cops always hang out around here, so we'll take it slow. my little cruise control there. That works really nice. Want to rest the hand? I'm going to take it off. I don't know what this car is doing up here. Alright, once we're by him, put my cruise control back on again, show you guys that. That was a, that was a video I did earlier. Simple little device. Pretty cheap, you know, not expensive. But if you need to rest your hand, you get your speed set, slide it in, take your hand off, rest your hand. It's a really nice feature to have. And then when you're ready, you just take it off, boom, you're back.
bike seems to run really good with the uh, fuel pack. You know, it's a the diesel pop is gone, and I, I didn't even uh, dial it in on the FP3. Just the stock map kind of fixed the diesel pop. Seems to run really good. No complaints. What else did we do? We did the cruise control. I did some bolts on my license plates. I know I have one this week scheduled to schedule to uh, run this Friday at 2.45 so tune in and watch that this video here I think I'm probably going to end up dropping a little bit early so Definitely going to try to do the Fridays at 2.45 and I will also once in a while drop an extra video during the week. Got some tree work here. Take it nice and easy. I hope you guys enjoyed this little video, you know, a little, little pick you up, go out for a little ride, and this is Carl saying laugh a lot, be nice, and stay safe. <laughs>